we got, Brother Vic? All right, we're back. Now, I don't know if we've got audio or not. Y'all tell me, can you hear me? Test. <laughs> I feel like Roadhog. You ever hear the Ro oh, Lester yeah. Roadhog Moran? Oh, yeah. Test. Check. Are we on? Check. <laughs> All right, we're on. Okay, so here I'm going to start all over again. Uh, welcome to Live with Less with uh, audio and everything. We have video and audio you can hear and see. And uh, uh, you know what? Should have expected it, Brother Vic. Oh, yeah. Devil's, devil's going to try to derail it because oh, I yeah. know something big's going to happen tonight. But that's okay. We just kicked the devil in the teeth right there. That's right. Holy Ghost pushed him out of here. You're out of here, devil. <laughs> But uh, I've got my friend, brother Vic Graves from East Tennessee with me here, and uh, I'm going to wind him up here in a minute. He's going to sing, and he's going to go to God's Word, and we're going to pray. And I told him to do just what he does um, every time that he uh, goes on live from his house. And uh, as I was saying a while ago, but you all couldn't hear, you have no idea what uh, he meant to me when I was in, in the hospital and I was in intensive care, ICU number 15, Doctor saying, uh, Les, you're probably not going to make it out of here. And uh, they were they were talking like that. And yet I had Brother Vic in the background just singing the glory down and praying the glory down and reading God's word and just and uh, and 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 God used that to uh, help me and to and to strengthen me. And here I am today. And this man right here had a big part to do with it. God let him be a big part of that. And uh, I just can't wait to get into uh, tonight. But let me do a few announcements, and then uh, I'm, we're going to have Brother Vic pray, and then uh, we're going to do some singing. I tell you what, if you are a musician, I just saw a, mu a musician buddy of mine from uh, Florida jump on, Mike Whitman. Mike, go get your guitar, play along with us. I've got a little acoustic uh, bass I'm going to play while Brother Vic plays his guitar and sings. Everybody that's got an instrument knows how to play. Go grab it. And they're at the house. Sing and play along with us. I mean, enjoy it. Just it's like you're going to church, okay? Uh, but a few announcements, and then we'll get started. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, go to YouTube.com and just type in Real Southern Gospel, okay? And then it'll take you to that page. And you, you need to subscribe, and then I want you to hit the little bell. When you hit the little bell, that means every time I'm on, you're going to know about it because it tells you, and then you can go and watch um, live with less when we're live. Okay. So do that. So go subscribe. And also in, if you would on Facebook, go to facebook.com and type in live with Les Butler and like that page. And on both of those things, I want you to share it to where all the folks that you have as your friends and all that, they'll know about it and have them subscribe to the YouTube channel and to the live with less Facebook page. Okay. And boy, there's uh, we have added uh, just real quick on the YouTube channel just in the last few days. I mean, great quartet, gospel quartet music from the Statler Brothers, from the Inspirations, uh, Tim Livingston. I sure miss you. Great video that we just added there. The band Jubilee. We were rehearsing. We were recording at Hilltop Studios. The band Jubilee, an incredible bluegrass group of young people in their teens and early twenties. Oh my. And uh, we just hit the camera and did some picking and singing together. And we've got that video on there. Voice of Truth Quartet, a great quartet song. Leave your sorrows and come along. Right out of that red back, as a matter of fact. And they've got that a video of that. Ken Turner, remember him, sang bass with the Blackwood Brothers. His group, Valor 3, has a version of the Eastern Gate, which is in that very red back that we're going to sing from in a minute. And uh, you're going to love that. Faithful Crossings, uh, something that I produced on the Palmetto State Quartet. Uh, we've got a video uh, from there. Barry Rowland and Deliverance. My goodness. Have you ever heard them do the song called He Took My Case? I don't think I have. Oh, go watch that. I will. God's on that I've been, I've been watching some of your videos. They're good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a bunch of them. So go and subscribe to that, uh, to that YouTube channel. Uh, do that, and let's see the September schedule. So after tonight... A week from tonight, this one's good. Next week's going to be fun. We're going to do a trivia game with Eddie Crook, the one and only Eddie Crook, that Eddie Crook, the Eddie Crook that started Morningstar Records, that played piano for the Happy Goodmans, for the Siegel Brothers and Naomi, Southern Gospel Music Hall of Fame member. We are going to 
uh, do a trivia game with Eddie. And I think uh, we're going to have some, he's going to be the host and I'm probably going to be one of the contestants and we'll have one or two go against, uh, uh, we'll go against each other and uh, we'll play some of the music that ties into the trivia. It'll really be fun. It will. So that'll be next Friday. And then the following Friday at uh, 6 40 PM central time, uh, there'll be a video announcement, a big announcement that I'm making. And, um, We've, we've already recorded the video of that, and it will play at 6.40 Central Time. And then at 7 Central, I'll be on live, and it's going to be all about what you're going to see on that video at 6.40. And we're going to have special guests. It's going to be a very special and big night, <clears throat> and that is Friday night, September 24th, 6.40 Central Time. The video, 7 o'clock Central, will be live. And then after that, uh, I'll be at the National Quartet Convention, and we'll be doing live with Les from the National Quartet Convention on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, September 27th, 28th, and 29th. And if the Lord will help us, we will be uh, at uh, Pat Pathway Baptist Church in Scottsboro, Alabama, on Sunday night, September 19th. That's a week from this Sunday um, at 5 p.m. I'm going to be preaching and singing. And we would invite you if you're in the Scottsboro, Alabama area. Okay. Now for tonight, I want you to hit share and tell folks about what's going on tonight. Call them, text them, tell them to get to uh, live with Les on Facebook or to the YouTube channel to watch this. Okay. Now my special guest, Brother Vic Graves. Brother Vic, I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here too. Thank you for being here. I'm going to put the microphone over here close, closer to you now. Um, now you where'd you come from today? From home? Where's home? It's in uh, Claiborne County, Tennessee. It's a little old community called Speedwell, and it's about fifty-two mile northeast of Knoxville. Okay, right there where Cumberland Gap area. Boy, it's beautiful over there. Yeah, I think it is. It is. <laughs> I was just over yeah. there with Brother Hamlin in that near neck of the woods, preaching yeah. and singing this past week, and. Uh, you saw the video of us on, oh, the, yeah. on the four wheeler up on the mountain. There. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> we had a good time, boy. It's beautiful. Um, thank you for coming. It was four hour drive and, uh, man, I'm so honored you'd be here. Anything I can do for my Lord, uh, distance doesn't matter to me. Amen. Because he went the greatest distance when he went to that cross. Amen, brother. To give us what we have now. Yes. Yes, God, sir. God's been good. He's been good to me. And, uh, I just, I, I told the Lord some weeks back, I went to prayer and I said, God, you opened the door, you know, my heart and I'm ready to go because Hey, he's soon coming. Oh yeah. Any day. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. He, he's soon coming to take us out of this awful place. Amen. Amen. It's getting wicked and wicked, which, it shouldn't surprise us because it's what God's word says. Sure does. Yes. Yeah, Gave us a warning. Yeah. Here it is. We don't know the day of the hour, but praise God, he said we'd know the times and seasons. Yeah. And we're right on we're it right, right now. Right in the middle of it. Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Video went off. All right. Video went off for a second. The devil's poking around here. Oh, yeah. I tell you what, let's <laughs> pray. Pray. Pray yes. him out of here. Yes. Let's, let's get him out. Divine and gracious, precious heavenly Father, God, as we humbly as we know how, Lord, come before your holy presence. Yes, Thank you, God, for the opportunity to come into the throne room of grace by yes, faith, Lord. Lord. We know you're there, God. I can feel your presence. Lord, I know that the enemy don't want this to go out. Yeah. He don't want nothing said about you, but I'm, yeah. I'm so thankful, Lord. You tell me in your word, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Amen. Lord, I pray for those. God, there's a lot of sick people, Lord. Oh, Lord. Help I them. pray, God, for healing. Your will be done, Lord. You yes. strengthen them. And those that's yes. been called out the way of death, God, I pray for the families, Lord, yes. that you'd strengthen them, encourage them. Oh, Lord. We know, God, that you're soon coming yes. to call your own, Lord. But, Lord, those that's going to be left behind, Father, they have no idea, oh, God, God help, what they're going to be facing. And I pray, God, God that you would tonight. bless your word, Lord, that you would save those, God, that's closest to you. Many people come into the church house, Lord, and 
and really not been born again. Amen. God, uh, Lord, we know when when you come to us, God, and when we accept you by faith, God, you embed something in our heart and our soul, Lord. Oh, yes. God, you seal it till the day of redemption. Amen. And I'm so thankful, God, that one day this old robe of flesh, Lord, we're going to lay it down. Yes. And, God, we're going to have a glorified liking to the yes, Son of we God. Will. Thank you for the blessed hope, Lord, that we have in our soul. God, I thank Hallelujah. you. I thank you, God, for riding with me and my wife down here today, yes. Lord, coming thank down the interstate. God, I know, Lord, you had angels around us yes. protecting us, Lord. I believe in thank God that's all my heart. I believe, God, the precious blood uh, that was shed that day on Calvary, the crimson flow. Oh, yes. God, none of it went to waste. Uh, no. uh, God wanted the drop of uh, that blood, Lord, was for my sins. Uh, yes. I'm so thankful, God, uh, that I know uh, that the blood is in the throne room of God yes. uh, right now. Pure, Still pure, pure. Glorious blood that you shed still flow on Calvary's tree. Yes, amen. thank you, God, <laughs> for your yes. love, your mercy, and God. We just ask you uh, to fill this house with your spirit. Oh, God, uh, God, tonight. keep the enemy out. Do uh, Lord, tonight. let us glorify the Lamb of yes, God tonight, Lord, tonight through song, through your word, through praise. Uh, uh, God, that it'll go out and touch somebody. Yes. Uh, Lord, most of all, a sinner that's watching. Yes. That will be watching this. God, Save we pray tonight, for Lord. conviction upon their Do soul. It, and those saints of God that's going to be watching, Lord, uh, strengthen them, encourage Do them it. in this dark just days that we live me, in. Uh, uh, God, you said to uh, uh, let us be a light. Jesus was a light. Uh, and we're to be like him. Let the light yes. from heaven hit us and reflect out to a lost and yes, dying Lord. world. Do it, God. Thank you, God, for Do your it love tonight. once more. God bless Brother Les and his ministry, Lord. We pray you'd meet his needs. You'd bless him. Thank you, Lord. God, most of all, that souls would be harvested in yes. to the family of God before it's too late for Do him. It, Lord. God. Thank tonight you, he... God, for your presence, Lord. We love you. Yes, Lord. God, we, we pray for, Thank you for what Lord, for my, my children, my grandchildren, the ones that's sick. Lord, you know all about it. Be with them, Lord. God, we, tonight, we plead right the now. blood of Jesus over their soul and over yes, their body. God, we Help. ask it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. 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 Yes. I had. Uh, I told Brother Vic, I said, here they are. If we have to use the whole box tonight, it's okay. <laughs> Lord, good. Well, Brother Vic, sing one for us. What do you got right out of the gate? What kind of guitar is that real quick? Well, I had this made. Uh, my cousin had some uh, Brazilian rosewood back years ago. Oh, my. And, a, and he said, would you like to have them? He said, I said, yeah. So it's, it's a three-piece back, but it's not like a. Show it up there, put it up there. Just straight up and down. Yeah, yeah. And, like, uh, is that a herringbone? What is that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A, a boy up in Virginia lives pretty close to me there, right above the gap. He made it for me. And uh, It's not and, Jimmy Edmonds, is and it? Dennis Overton. Okay, okay. And uh, I, had, uh, I had him to order this neck from Martin. It's like the wide vintage neck. Yeah, yeah. A little bit wider. And then yeah. the... <clears throat> my cousin Junior Branscombe, he he makes guitars now, and, and I tell you, up there and had him. I said, "I want you to put my name on that head and stuff." Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Put it up there. Look at there. Vic Graves, sure enough. That's, that's a Vic Graves model. <laughs> I like it. But I, I hit set hit set for a long time, and of course, I, I didn't play the guitar much back when I was playing gospel groups. I played dobro. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, he's a fine dobro player too. But in the Latter days of my life, I got the old guitar back out. Okay. And just a lot of times I sat at the house uh, and just sang to the Lord. Sure. Sang to him. Yeah. And 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 he manifests himself to me. Sure. Because I know, I know he, you know, have you ever had time less when you, <clears throat> you're sitting around and or maybe driving down the road? <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, uh, the devil will try to discourage you. He'll start.
poking at your mind a little bit. And, oh, poor old fella and everything like that. Yeah, about about that, every day that happens. Yeah. And then <laughs> about that time, here comes somebody else talking to you, but it's yeah. beyond the mind. Oh, yeah. It's a, and remind you of who you are. Yeah, in him. Yeah. In him and the son of God. Yeah. And what's awaiting. Yeah. That's why I that's why I love this old song here. It's on page three ninety four. I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Well, can, yeah, amen and to that. that. Can I play with you? Oh yeah. Let me, let me see if I can get a hold of this thing here. And uh of course I now sometimes I I, I don't sing it exactly like it written. I can't read music anyway, but I just Neither can I. You're in good company, my brother. <laughs> I, I sang, wouldn't know an E flat from an E puffed up. I, I sang it the way I feel it. Do it. Sing it. This world is not my home. I'm only passing by. My treasures and my hope are all up in the sky. My friends and loved ones wait who've trod this way before. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Amen. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. Yes. If heaven's not my home, then what would I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Amen. Oh, in that better land, there is no dying there. Hallelujah. The saints the victory shout, and Jesus' name declare. The Savior I will pray to all my sorrow for, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Yes, it's right. Oh, Lord, no, I have no friend like you. If heaven were not my home, dear Lord, what would I do? Yeah. The angels beckon me from heaven open door and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. My Lord's expecting me and this I surely know. Yeah. I fixed it up with God yeah. so many years ago. I know you'll take me through. I'm traveling to that shore, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven were not my home, dear Lord, what would I do? The angels beckon me from heaven to the door, and I can't. Feel at home in this world anymore. Amen. I won't have long to stay. My work is nearly done. I'm happy now to say my race is almost run. So long my eyes are set on heaven's open door. And I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, Lord, you know I have no friend like you. If heaven were not my home, dear Lord, what would I do? The angels beckon me from heaven's open door, and I can't feel at home in this world anymore. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's the truth right there. I can't feel at home in this world anymore. This, no. You know, I, I told my wife, I said, honey, I said, I love you. I love the kids. I love the grandkids. I love my kin folks. I love everybody. Yeah. But I, I've, 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 I've got focused on another world. Bro. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Amen. And it's, it gets sweeter and sweeter every day. Yeah. I get, I get focused on, on, you know, the, there's a, a scripture. I'll probably read it out a while, but it talks about whom we've not seen, mm -hmm. yet we love. 
Amen. We see him by faith. You know, I, I yeah. I, there's a lot of times I've had to, uh, by faith, oh yeah, go to Calvary. Yeah, sure. By faith, I, I, I've stood there by faith, and God knows exactly what we need. And a lot of times, especially during this time that that we're in in this time of life, we all need to go to Calvary two or three times a day for strength. Amen, brother. I'm sure you. do. Aren't yeah. you glad that you can still feel him, though? Oh, yeah. We may not have seen him, but, man, we can feel him. Oh, yeah. It's it's a joy unspeakable and full of glory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's indescribable. This world's not my home. Why in the world would anybody want to be here, stay here? I'm thankful that God has me here, and he has us here for a purpose. Oh, yes. Bring them in. Yes. Bring in the sheaves. Go not go go tell them, compel them yeah. to come in. Compel them. So he's got us here for a reason, and I'm glad for that reason. And I'm and I'm gonna do my best to to uh, to take that opportunity that he's given me and those reasons and try to fulfill his will. But I'm telling you, this place is not my home. No. I don't I don't like much about it at all. And certainly how what it's turned into. You know, I've told people this here a lot recently. If my grandparents were to just magically somehow to appear and come back here, they wouldn't even know that they're in America. No. They, they would think they were on Mars or something. Uh, I agree. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I believe, I believe uh, uh, with all my heart, uh, uh, I know his what we're seeing going on right now is worldwide. They, yeah. They, they's a dark spirit all over this world and God's permitting it to happen because mm -hmm. we that have been born again, we know what's coming. Yes, sir. We know what's coming. And, and, and that should encourage us to, uh, uh, just like you said, compel them. Hey, time's are running out. Yeah. But, and then those that's, that don't know him has never been born again. It's driving them crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, it they and and they are doing foolish stuff. Yeah, it's darkness. That's all darkness. That's exactly what the enemy wants. He wants to keep everybody discouraged, running to and fro and to and fro, uh, and and we can see what's going on. Yeah, uh, but God said we're not in darkness. Those that's been born again, mm -hmm. we're children of light. Yes, sir. And and. I believe I don't understand everything in my King James Bible, but I believe every word of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Even the maps. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I told one one time. I said I even get a blessing out of reading the concordance. <laughs> the concordance. Yeah. Yeah. You know the uh, you said something there a while ago that uh, brought something to, uh, something to my mind. Oh, people uh, go around and they they don't have peace. No. They're they're living in the darkness. We have light even in the darkness. But people that don't have the Lord, all they have is the darkness of this life and the darkness of their life to come and the darkness that they're living in now. It's nothing but darkness. That's it. And, but if they would just accept the Lord Jesus Christ, they don't have to tap into their bank account for anything. Nope. They don't have to. They don't have to be a relative to the president or to or to queens or princes or princesses. They don't have to have a pedigree. No. They don't have to have a mansion. They don't have to have assets to bring in and say, here, let me give me give me some peace in, in heaven that you're talking about, and you can have all that. You can keep all that stuff. Mm -hmm. None, you don't need any of it. You can keep it all if you got it. And if you don't have it, it's okay. You don't need it. That's right. Except the Lord as your personal Savior. And you have the, you'd have light. You, you don't have to live in the dark. Even in the in a world of darkness, you don't have to be in that darkness for yourself. That's right. That's Isn't that right. something? Yeah, it is. It, it, it's just like the when I, when I read my Bible, even though, you know, there's trouble all around everywhere, but when you get to reading, reading that Word of God, it comes alive. Oh, yeah. It's a light. Yes. I mean, it. It yeah. goes right to your soul, and yeah. I really can't even explain it. Yeah, and and I'm telling you, yeah. sometimes I get the feeling so good uh, when I, when I'm reading and, and talking to the Lord. If if my knees wasn't so bad, I believe I could run to the top of the mountain back up <laughs> where I live. But uh, I don't want to take that change. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm telling you, God, God will 
he'll set your fields on fire. He if, sure will. If, if you'll just call to him, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, sir. he'll strengthen you. I'm telling you, some of the some of the best services I've ever been in is just me and the Lord. Oh yeah, yes, sir. And, and, and driving down the road, just yeah. church breakout. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, have you ever had to pull over? I've had to pull over. Oh before. yes, yes. And I've even drove down the road a crying and the Holy Ghost just to feed my soul, and I might uh, uh, come back to myself 20 miles down the road and only yeah. remember getting down there. I've done it. I like it like that. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> it makes the day go by oh, faster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What's next, brother? What you got? Well, I'm a, I love this old song here. Uh, my good buddy, Steve Gully, he's, he's in heaven now. Yeah. When he uh, yeah. When he was doing a, a solo record, he called me and asked me if I'd sing a song on it and I said yeah yeah so I took a bunch I got a big old poke full of songs at the house it used to be my mom's you know old songs and I took church hymnal with me and I went up to his house and I said well I'm going to do this one first before I share any of these others with you and it's it's old song on page 365 it's called No Not One Oh, and when I when I sung when song. I sung that, and he said, I, "I don't want to hear nothing else." We're done. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this this song this song is is ministered to me, me too. time and time and time again. Me too. I'm telling you, I just think about it. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah, there's me nobody too. else that can bring you joy than the Lord Jesus. Amen. And we accept Him by faith. You know, seems like the Lord is just pouring that, been pouring that on me. I, I can't see him, but I, I, he's in here right now. Sure. I can't see him. Praise his holy name. But one day. <laughs> yeah. One yeah day, we're going to know him. One day we're going to see him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. glory to God. Yeah, we're going to know him when we see him, too. Amen. Sing, brother. the holy Jesus, yeah. no, not one, no, not one, none else could heal all our soul diseases, no, not one, no, like him is so high and holy yeah. no not one no not one and yet no friend is so meek and lowly no not one no not Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the Lord Jesus. No, not not an hour that he is not near us no not one no not one no not so dark but his love can cheer us no not one no not Did ever saint find his friend forsake him? No, not one, 
though not one. Oh, sinner, find that he would not take him. Yeah. No, not one. Listen, sinner, no, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not Was there a gift like the Savior given? No, not one. No, not one. Will he refuse us a home no. in heaven? <laughs> no, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all about our struggle. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly. No, not one. 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 Read, read that second verse. Read that. The the second one. Yeah. No friend like him is so high and holy. Mm -hmm. and yet no friend is so meek and lowly. Mm -hmm. What about it? No, not one. Get Read, read the next verse. The number three, yeah. fourth, or? The one that you sung the third time, whichever one that was. Oh, was there a gift? Oh, my. <laughs> like the Savior given. Oh, my. No, not one. Yeah. No, not one. Yeah. Will he refuse us a home in heaven? No, no, no one. one. If no you one. ask him into your heart and into your life, there is no way impossible for him to say no. That's right. No, because he came to seek and to save that which was lost. Yes. He came for that purpose. So if he came for that purpose, then you go to him with that same purpose to accept him, he's not going to, he's not going to say no to you. No. And he went to prepare a place for his children. Oh yes. He went to prepare a place. Imagine, imagine now imagine that. Yeah. John 14. I can't imagine that. I've got, I've, I thank the Lord for what I have. I got a little old 1700 something square foot house here. Been living here 20 some years. I thank the Lord for it. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to have it. And I praise him and I thank you for it. But a mansion. Oh, yeah. What did I do to deserve a mansion? I didn't do anything to deserve it, but I get it. Just because I asked him to be Savior and Lord of my life, I confessed I was a sinner and that he was the Savior, and he didn't tell me no. He told me yes. Oh, then he yes. went and prepared a place for me. And, and then he said, I want you to be up here with me forever. Can you imagine the king of eternity? Oh, yeah. Want to be with us forever. You know, the word of God says it. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, yeah. nor is it even entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them yeah. that love him. Yeah. And, brother, I'll say this. I know that is speaking. A lot of times we want to focus on it's it, 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 it in heaven. Yeah, yeah. But he'll do that for us right here, too. Sure will. Yeah. Sure will. It's a two-way. Yeah, man. He'll yes, take sir. care of us right here on this earth. Yes. And then what's waiting up yonder. Yeah. 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 And then 
I love reading where John saw the city of God coming down. Coming down. <laughs> coming down, but it never did touch the earth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a river flowing out of it. Yeah. That feeds the new earth. Yeah. God's going to redeem it. it. It belongs to him. Sure. Yeah. The the enemy, Lucifer, you know, the word of God, I believe is in Isaiah there somewhere said he was, the word Lucifer means light barrier. Mm-hmm. And he was the choir leader in heaven. Mm-hmm. He had pipes in his throat. Mm-hmm. Beautiful, beautiful music. Mm-hmm. But then pride came along. Mm-hmm. And he said, and I like to gouge the devil when the Holy Ghost gives me the freedom. Yeah. Because I know it's striking home. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and he said, I'll exalt myself above the most high God. Yeah. 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 So there's been a battle. And he was, so, and I'm not saying this to brag on the devil, but I know what's coming to him. Oh, yeah. In the end. Yes, sir. He had a lot of power, influence. A lot of angels followed him down. There's been a battle going on ever since. Yeah. But I'm telling you, yeah, on the authority of God's word, yes, sir. it's soon coming to an end. Yeah. And we know who inherits the earth. Yeah. We know who inherits heaven. Yeah. And we know who's a going to eternal damnation into outer darkness. That's exactly right. And I've read the back of this book and I yes, know sir. I know what's going on with me. I'm gonna win. Yes, sir. <laughs> Absolutely. What hey, you got? Man. hey, let's see who's on here with us, Brother yeah. Vic. Well, go you get ahead. the next one going on here. Let me see here. Let's go up to the top here. Uh let's see. We got uh, Patty Graham. Hello, Miss Patty. Thank you again for coming to um East Kentucky. Boy, oh boy, you came, you and your mom came a long way to be in that revival this past week, and I sure do appreciate it. Miss Carol, uh, there's my Aunt Sue from St. Cloud. Good to see you, Sue. These songs are ringing a bell with you, I know, because that's uh, that's what you all, that you were raised on. I was raised on the same stuff. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello there, Greg Quick. Mike Whitman there from uh, Central Florida. Nathan Morris from just outside of Indianapolis. Elizabeth Lawson, good to see you. Terry Carter, glory. Oh, Terry's jumping in on the church right here. Hello, Brother Les. Hello, Brother Terry. Jimmy Hayes, amen. Elizabeth Lawson, please pray for my sister, Mary. She has tested positive for COVID-19. All right. All right, Miss Elizabeth, we will do that. Mike Whitman saying amen. He's going to church with us. Susan Brown Sadler, hello, Brother Les. Hello, Susan. Billy Sizemore, hello. Patty Graham, glory. We got some people that's that's joining in with us. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yes, sir. Betty Jones, nothing like the old tunes. Facebook playing sound games. Uh oh. Well, I hope it's uh, doing all right. Susan Sadler, Elizabeth, I'm going to pay, uh, pray for uh, your sister Mary. Good, 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 good. Who else we got here? Nathan, nothing better than spirit filled praying and singing. Praise the Lord. I'm I heard glad. my pastor. I'm Jim going home. home. Oh, we're going to get down there. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. We got Curtis Brock. Uh, y'all are preaching. Susan uh, Brown, Betty Jones, hello, Betty, Jimmy Hayes, Billy Sizemore, Jim Branscombe. Now, that's your pastor there? Yeah. You say, okay, hey, Brother Jim, good to, good to have you on here tonight. Hey, Brother Hamlin, Mrs. Hamlin and I are watching from Canton, Michigan, Les Butler. Well, hey to Brother John, hey to Miss Carrie, God bless you all. And, uh, boy, we had a good time, Brother John, did we not, this past week? And he preached the paint off the wall. Mm-hmm. No, he just did. Oh, and it was good. It was good, Brother John. Thank you. Uh, Megan, let's see. Megan says, hi, Les and uh, Vic. Vic, I love and miss you, my friend. Les, see you. Uh, see if you can talk with him, in, uh, talk him into doing a bit of the way to Calvary, please. He oh. knows I love, 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 love that powerful song. I'll I'll let you do what if, you want there, brother. If, if I've got the word, I don't know if I've had the word. All right, we'll study on it there, Miss Megan. Uh, Patty and John, and no, not one. Whoop! John Hamlin says, whoop! <laughs> Tim Meeker, uh, that's singing right there. Let me tell you what, real quick, and then we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have him do another song. The he's the greatest mountain from the heart singer I've ever heard in my life. Vic Graves. I know this has blessed you all tonight, and I'm I'm just praise the Lord that he could be here. Ready or not, here he comes, Les Butler. That's from John uh, John Hamlin there. Tom, uh, Tim Meeker, good to see you. All right, what you got? What's next on the... Well, the, oh, I see it. Lord, I love this song. Yeah. I sang this at the revival this week. Sure did. Did you sing it the way I sang it? I, probably not. <laughs> you know how I You know how I sing it? I'll tell you how I sing it. You know who, how, who I first heard do this? Who's that? man named Fred Johnson. 
Fred. That was an African American man that used to sing on the Jimmy Swagger TV show oh, back there? in the seventies. Yeah. And he would rear back and do it kind of black style. Yeah. And I kind of do it that way. Oh myself. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, uh, this song here, my, my, my mom used to sing it and, uh, Oh, I love this song. And and uh, she just get carried away and wind up throwing handkerchiefs and shouting and yeah. and uh, good all that good stuff. I love it. I love but it. But it's a the, what blesses me on this song is who wrote it. Yeah, go ahead. Tell the yeah. story about all of it. Well, you can tell it better than I can. I mean, I knew she was a blind lady. I I read yeah. a little bit yeah. about her, but uh, the with the words of this song. And you realize that a blind person wrote this song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness. Fanny Crosby is the writer of this song blind from birth. And, uh, you will notice what knowing that if you don't know the story, now you, you know, her story and she wrote literally thousands of hymns and songs and she, uh, wrote poetry. And she would be called to the White House in Washington, D.C. to come and do her poetry and, and uh, recite her song lyrics to presidents. Did you know that? I'd heard that. Isn't that something? Yeah. Presidents of the United States would ask for Fanny Crosby to come in. And so she would come in and she would recite these poems and songs. And, I, and she may have even recited this one to, to a president. I don't know which one she did. But on this song right here, keep in mind, as Brother Vic uh, sings this, it's coming from a blind person. And when you hear some of the words she penned, knowing that she's blind, if this doesn't bless you, your blesser is broke. And you need to go to the altar and get it fixed. This is song, this song will bless you. What key are you going to do I'm with gonna, it, I'm going to try it now. If it's okay. too high, I'll take it back to Eve. We'll do it. Okay. <laughs> When my life work is ended and I cross will in time, when the bright glorious morning I shall see, I shall know my Redeemer when I reach the other side, yes. and His smile will be the first to welcome me. I shall know Him. I shall know him and redeem my side. I shall stand. I shall know him. I shall know him by the print of the nails in his hand. Oh, the soul thrill and rapture when I view his blessed face and the luster of his kindly beaming eyes. How my full heart will praise him for the mercy, love, and grace that prepared for me a mansion in the sky. I shall know him. I shall know him and redeem my son. I shall stand. I shall know him. I shall know him by the print of the nails in his hand. Oh, the dear ones in glory, how they beckoned me to come. Yeah. And our parting at the river, I recall to the sweet bells of Eden, they will sing my welcome home. But I long to meet my Savior first of yeah. all. Oh, I shall know him. I shall know him and redeem by his side. I shall stand. I shall know him. I shall know him by the print of the nails in his hand. Oh, through the gate to the city in a robe of spotless white, he will lead me where no tears will ever fall. In that glad song of ages, I will mingle 
with the light, but I long to meet my Savior first of all. Oh, I shall know Him, I shall know Him, and redeemed by His side, I shall stand, I shall know Him, I shall know Him, by the friend of the nailed in His hand. Hey, what a song, man, what a song. song. From a blind woman, yes. I shall know him by the prince. She's going to see him. She's just a, not going to be able to feel him. She's going to be able to oh, see yes. those prints oh, in yes. his hand. Because you know what? The blind won't be blind anymore in heaven. No. The lame? Do you think that there's going to be people wheeling people around heaven? They're not going to wheel people around heaven. The lame people are going to be running through heaven. That's right. Hallelujah. Word of God says we leap like a heart. That's like a deer. Deer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can leave all that stuff behind. Okay. Don't whenever, when the trumpet blows and we start going, when we start heading out of here, you don't have to grab your cane. Throw the cane down. Don't. Just it's gone. You don't need it anymore. Amen. Praise God. I love that song. Oh, I do too. Fanny Crosby, Water Rider. Amen. <laughs> well, let's see who else. Anybody else say anything to us here? No, that's well, yeah, I guess they are. Patty, oh, the soul feeling rapture when I view his blessed face. That's view, it. view, view. She's blind, but she's saying, I'm going to view his that's face. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, uh, Gene Cross Carriers, amen. Jimmy Hayes, uh, miss my brother Mike. Great singing, I shall know him. Amen, darling. Good. Heather, my equipment's picking along with you guys. <laughs> my friend in Central Florida, he's, I know he's picking with. Matter of fact, he's singing. Matter of fact, Mike, you should have sung tenor instead of me. I was singing tenor, and I'm a baritone. He's high, man. I had to get up over him. You needed to be here singing that, Brother Mike. What you got next for us, Brother? Well, I love this old song here on page 200 on Church Hymnal. All right. When our Lord shall come again. And he's coming. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. We'll do that in an F, too, if it ain't too high. I love that drop, the drop D tuning you do. Well, that's because that capo. Yeah. I love that. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> I love this old song. When upon the clouds of heaven, Christ shall come to earth again. With the world will be glad to see him when our Lord shall come again. There'll be singing, there'll be shouting, yes, there will be. oh, there'll be sorrow, oh, there'll be pain, there'll be weeping, there'll be praying, you know it, when our Lord shall come again, will his coming bring rejoicing, or will it bring tears and are you ready to receive him when our Lord shall come again? Oh, there'll be singing, there'll be shouting, there'll be sorrow, there'll be pain. There'll be weeping, there'll be praying when our Lord shall come again. Oh, working for John. Let me start that over. Right. Will you join yeah. lamentation? Or the angel glad to bring? Will you help his people crown him? When our Lord shall come again, there'll be singing, there'll be shouting. Oh, there'll be sorrow, oh, there'll be pain. There'll be weeping, there'll be praying. Yeah. When our Lord shall come again, oh, work and pray. Help Jesus called you, help together in the grain. Then with joy 
you meet the Savior, yes. Oh, when that Lord shall come again, oh, there'll be singing, there'll be shouting, oh, there'll be sorrow, oh, there'll be pain, there'll be weeping, yes, I'll be praying, oh, when that Lord shall come again. Amen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, he's coming. There's going to be all of that. There's going to be shouts from the saints going up, and then there's going to be weeping oh, yes. from those that knew. They've been told. Yes. They've been told that th- about this Jesus. They've been told that he was coming. Many of them lived a life that they thought was uh, that they were okay, but they never accepted the Lord. That's right. Playing church. Playing church. Playing church. And when the trumpet blows, they're going to know that they played the wrong game. That's exactly right. God help you. If you're playing games tonight, stop. Get it right. He's coming. He's coming again. And not only is he coming again, he's just coming. I'm, I believe it's It's not, you know, I've, I've said it for years. Any day, I've, I'm past the day. I'm past the any hour. I'm kind of past the any minute. It's any second. Yes. That he's coming. Yes, he is. Get you know, ready. And, and I love the thought, too, where I believe Brother Paul pinned down in the, as he was moved by the Holy Spirit, where we're compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I believe with all my heart, like my mom, my dad, my mother and father-in-law and, and all people that I know, that was born again, and they left out of this world. Went to a bit. My uncle Green, you say they went to yonder's world. Yeah, and we're yonder. And and uh, they're at. I believe they're at the banisters of heaven, waving us on. Waving us. I waving believe us that. On. I believe. They were some group. My wife found it, and I can't remember the names of the group, but uh, waving. Uh, Ricky Atkinson and Compassion. Waving. Waving his home or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky Atkinson, Boy, Compassion. I, I heard that song. And that yeah. Just, yeah, it's powerful. I had a spell. Yeah, it's powerful. I <laughs> mean, I, I feed on stuff like that. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, yeah. uh, when it's when it's scriptural, when it's based on the word of God, it just puts a double blessing on it. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you. It's, Amen. Yeah. There, it's uh, Even in this evil time, we've already said there earlier, it's dark time we're living in, they still light for God's people. But the enemy, will he'll try to talk you out of it. Oh, yeah. Get, and he's good at doing that. I had a, He deceives the very elect. My nine-year-old, one of my grandsons, he's nine years old, and uh, he, my daughter here a while back said that uh, Landon keeps saying he's afraid to die. He's afraid he'd go to hell. Mm-hmm. Nine years old, mm-hmm. and God was stirring his heart, mm-hmm. and uh, I had him over to the house one day, and I kind of talking to him a little, and I could tell he wasn't quite ready then. Cause mm-hmm. You can't hit. You've got to realize you lost before you get saved. That's right. And uh, so, here a couple of weeks ago, it was at about fifteen to one in the morning. My wife phone went off is my daughter and and Linda punched me. I th- didn't know what was coming off and she put it on the speaker and it was Landon, the grandson. And he said, Paul, I said, what buddy? He said, I got saved. <laughs> but there's a difference in his voice. Yeah. Yeah. There's a difference in his voice. And he, yeah. He, and he, Hallelujah. It, put, it put a happiness in him. Sure. Sure. Yeah. He's not, he's not afraid of dying now. Yeah. I thank God for, you know, God tells us in his word, if we be, if we obey him the best we can, and not only would he save you, but he'll save your whole household. Mm-hmm. He'll yeah. save the, all of them. Yeah. Thank God for yeah. salvation. I, I claim that. I claim oh, his yes. word. I do. What you got next there, brother? Well, 
Speaking of the word yonder, this and here is will you meet me over yonder? That's on page 196. All right. Y- y'all got your red backs out? Turn to page 196. Now, if you've got your instruments, what key are you going to do it in so they can get can, We'll do it in E. Going to do it in E. So there you are. So I'm capo up or down or whatever you need to do. Yeah. Some of them say two and, it, two and D. Two and D. Yeah. yeah. That was my dad. Two D. <laughs> yeah. And, and is that claw hammer A or short A? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Long A, oh, short yeah. A. Yeah, long, yeah. Short A, and then there's a long, long. A. Oh, yeah. Used oh, to. Yeah. Used to back years ago, I didn't have no clamp, you know. I'd take a, a pencil or a good hard piece of wood yeah. and take a shoestring oh, and yeah. tie it down there. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. got to make do what you, you got. You sure do. <laughs> but I love this old song here, too. It's a, I remember. It's a good question. Will you meet me over here? I remember Aunt Pearl Tennell out at church a lot of times. She kept her hair tied up in a little knot, you know. On a little top bun. Of it. Yeah. 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 And uh, she had chew chewing gum. And and she was a pretty big lady. And and loved, happy all the time, smile on her face. And she she taught she taught us uh, Sunday school. I was a little fella, but I can remember. And they'd be, because we didn't have no music in the church back then. Nobody knows how to play nothing then. And I, I, I thank God for boring and putting these memories in me. Oh, that, me that he lets it come out every yeah. now and then yeah, yeah, to yeah. strengthen you. Yeah. But Aunt Pearl, she would be standing there singing. And uh, th- th- this song here, Will You Meet Me Over Yonder? And all of a sudden, She'd raise them hands, and you could hear her shouting from down the bottom of the holler. <laughs> that God just come in on the yeah man, and just bless everybody. Hallelujah. But that's that's the question. If there's anybody watching this and you're lost, do it, brother. You know you're lost. Uh, you've got good intentions, but you're lost. My question is, will you meet me over yonder? Yes. The only way you can is accept the blood of Jesus that he shed on Calvary and accept him by faith. Getting saved is easy. And it you is. realize you're lost. It is. You're ready. You're ready to accept it him. Is. Just pray, God, forgive me of a sinner and forgive me of my sins and accept what Jesus done on Calvary just for you and confess him. Will you meet me over yonder? I am back. That bright city where the streets are paved with gold, where it be, I'll dwell forever. Oh, joy can never be told. Will you meet me over yonder and with happy millions? will be a happy meeting yeah. with the dear ones passed away. Oh, the joy of that reunion in that land of endless days. Will you meet me over yonder and with happy Where we'll never say farewell Oh, brother, say How are you living? Should he call for you to go? Are you ready for the summer? Is your road made white as snow? Yonder and with happy meals, well, will you meet me over yonder where we'll never say farewell? Oh, there's a man.
Christian is waiting for the one who overcome to life's storm. We'll pass the river and we'll safely return home. Will you meet me over yonder? And with happy marriage will, will you meet me over yonder? Where we'll never say farewell. Amen. Read the second verse of that. Read that. Number two? Yes, yeah, number two. That will be a happy meeting yeah. with the dear ones passed away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the joy of that reunion in that land of endless day. In recent years, I've lost my, I didn't lose them because I know where they are. But my, my dad went home to be with the Lord. My mother went home to be with the Lord. While I was in, in uh, the hospital, with I and with with COVID, had an aunt that died with COVID, couldn't go to her funeral, but that's not the last I've seen of them. No, there's a glad reunion day coming. Oh yes, I'm going to meet them over yonder. Now, when I looked down into the casket and saw my dad for the last time, saw my mom for the last time, it was seeing them for the last time on this earth. Yeah, I'm going to see him again. But I know I had I had family members walk walk up into and look into that casket and saw them for the last time on this earth. And if they don't get their heart right with God, that's the last that they're ever going to see of them. Yeah, that's right. No more. Nope. But for the saved, you're going to see them again. It's oh, going to be yes. a great reunion day. One that'll never end. I've been to a lot of good family reunions, had some good ones, boy. I mean, good fellowship, good food, and all the family, just wonderful. And I come from singing family on both sides. Every time we got together, we'd sing and just and, and pick and carry on and preach. Just we had church when we would have them. What a great family reunion. But you know what? They've they've gone on to be with the Lord. No more family reunions here. But that's not the last family reunion I ever went no, to. No, the family of God reunion is <laughs> going to be the greatest of all. You it know, sure is. I, I've had, I've heard discussions and uh, uh, this way, that way, and everything about will we know each other in heaven and everything. And I tell them, say, listen, I don't know a whole lot, but I do know a few things. I know that I'm saved. And I know the word of God says, and his word is true, this King James Bible, the unadulterated word of God. It's all I, it, because it changed my life. It'll change your life. And he says that we, we'll be known as we're known. That's what it says. That's what it says. I mean, there's nothing else. My dad and mom, they're there. I've got got a lot of kin folks there. And my my, my mother before uh, she went to heaven. She had dementia, and uh, we took care of her. Me and my two brothers, we'd take turns and uh, let her stay at home and try to keep her uh, comfortable as we could. And she would look out the window, look up the old home place. She'd say, "I believe I see somebody." Then she'd get to talking. <laughs> she'd get to talking about uh, people yeah. that's done gone on, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then one, one evening, the Lord called her on home. Yeah. I knew it was coming. My my wife's mother, Mamma, Granny, I called her. I loved her just like my own mother. And same thing with her. We kept her at home, and. Uh, I went up the, the, the night that the Lord called her out. She would she would talk to her people. She would talk to them. And uh, the ones that done gone on. She'd wave. Even Papa, her husband, he would he would wave. And so I asked him, I said, Papa, who, who are you waving at? Is that little girl? See, their first child uh, deceased. 
Mm-hmm. And and uh, that'd be Linda's older, my wife's older sister. Mm-hmm. I believe Papa was seeing her. Mm-hmm. These these youngins in heaven. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Count on it. Yes. Yes, sir. And, and God lets us see when it comes down to death. Death has no dominion over God's people. No. It. The Word of God says that Jesus took the sting of death. Yes, sir. He also tasted death mm-hmm. for everyone. Yes, sir. And what he went through, no human being will ever even get a dose of what our Savior went through. Amen. Because he took on all the sins of the world. Yes. Wherever sin reigned. He took it. He took it. Yes, sir. As he went into the Garden of Gethsemane, you know, when I get to reading about that, and it's 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 surreal. It's yeah. it's like you're one of the disciples is standing there watching him. Mm. He knew what was coming, but he loved us so yeah. much. Thank you, Lord. He said, "Not my will, Lord, but yours." Yes, sir. And not only that, to put the icing on the cake. Jesus was God in the flesh. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. And that blood that was shed on Calvary, that was God's blood. Yes. It was sinless. Still flowing. No sin in it. It's, more, it's as powerful today as a, whenever he, he created it. Yes. Amen. Oh, and that, that blood, I get, I'll get. i tell you, I get tore up and I get thinking about the blood of Christ because yep. I know I know what it's done in my life, and I've seen it change other people's lives, and it's real. Yes, sir, brother. They's, you know, the devil's always tried to have a copy. Yeah. He always tries to imitate yeah. everything of the Lord. Yeah. Even when it, when, brother, when it comes to the tribulation period, I'm thankful to God that I'll not be here. Hallelujah. I, I, I try to <laughs> warn people. Hallelujah. Hey, it's a time where... Oh my! Where death will flee. Yeah. And here's the picture that 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 I get in my soul. It's going to be so horrible and terrible. People are try to commit suicide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. uh, shoot themselves in their mouth or whatever, mm-hmm. and blow the back of their head off. Yeah. But they can't die. But they can feel the pain, and that pain ain't nothing compared to the outer darkness pain that they're going to be in forever and ever. Tell you, hell's a real yes, place, sir. folks. They'll be crying out for the rocks and the mountains. To fall oh, on. yes. It'll be too imagine, late. Could you imagine being in such a state that you would want that? That's where oh, they're, yeah. they're going to live live in that state of mind. That's exactly right. It, and it'd be too late, too late. There'll be, the word of God says that the white throne judgment, there'll be many come before them and say, Lord, we'd, we, I, I've done these wonderful things in your name and this and that. And he'll look at them and he'll say, depart from me. Ye that work iniquity, I never knew never you. Knew you. The saddest, the saddest word to the human being is those words right there. Depart from me. I never knew you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You know, and and and, and less this day and time that we're living in right now. You, a lot of times you try to. You, the only way you can witness to people is through that word. When you quote a scripture to them or read a scripture, the enemy can't can't tire them away that'll 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 go in and get the job sure will. But, but, but if you try to just debate with them i don't debate with nobody no uh but that word of god will will pierce the soul and there's a lot of people this day and times like the word of god says there'll be scoffers and mockers they'll make fun of you yeah I, i've tried to witness to people people i know friends mm-hmm. and i know they're not saved uh I even had one one fellow told me, look me dead now, and he said, which I know who it was was talking through him, is that the evil one, because mm-hmm. the Holy Ghost will let you see these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, he said, I, I don't even know if there is a God. He He's going to know one day. That's what I told him. I said, I'm telling you right now, if you don't accept him, if you don't bow and accept him here while you're living in the flesh on this earth, I said, you'll kneel before him one day. You'll acknowledge who he is. Yep. You'll you'll cry out for mercy, but mercy be cut off. Yeah. Every knee's going to bow. Every tongue's going to confess. Tongue's you gonna know confess. how many every is? 
every that's right all 100 percent yeah my 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 it's a reach out to a lost and dying world it's a and it's a it's a it's getting to be a battle to even witness yeah yeah you know they they's a there's a demonic wall there in the front of you trying to keep you hushed. Yeah, yeah. It's just like when we started out this evening. Yeah. yeah. Now, it might have been a technical problem or something yeah. other, yeah. but I'm telling you, the, 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 the devil will try to stop God's word from going out. Yeah, yeah. I seldom have technical issues, and I had two when we started tonight. But we blacked his eye. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now he'll he might try to make me wreck when I'm uh, going back to where we're staying. But hey, yeah. I'm ready to go. Well, That's what if, I tell. If it he, happens, we're gonna pray that doesn't happen though, because I want to do this again with you <laughs> on this side. It'll happen one of the two yeah. here or there. One. You know, <laughs> I, I found out studying one time. I, I, I might be in Revelation, but anyways, it, it was referring to the to the redeemed, the saved people. I've heard people say, well, I wish I could play a guitar like so-and-so. And I know they're saved. And I say, listen, one day you're going to. Yeah. Because the word of God says we'll have zethers. We're going to be playing zethers. And that's a, and I, when I first read that, it's been a long time ago. I thought, what in the world is a zether? Yeah. And I looked it up and it's a guitar shaped instrument with, was strange and 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 uh, like a harp. Yeah, too. yeah, 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 yeah. And I thought, praise yeah. God. What about I, that? I'll enjoy that. I thought I said, yeah, you'll be playing something. You talk about the singing in heaven. Yeah. So a lot of people, yeah. a lot of people think you know you you're going to stand around the throne and jump up and down and shout forever and ever and ever and ever. There's more. There's more to heaven than that. I do plan on doing what you just said right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a yep. long time. Yeah. But I'm going to do some of the other stuff. Yeah. It, <laughs> well, those things that God prepared for us. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, we won't know till we get there. Yeah. Because it's yeah. so glorious. Yeah. We can't, we can't even comprehend in our mind what God's got waiting on us. You know what the 10 string instrument is that you read about in God's word? Two five string banjo is going to be up in heaven. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's the 10 strings. It's oh. two five string badgers. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, I believe that's going to be up there in heaven because I'm telling you, if I, because the Lord knows that I, I like all that. So he, he's going to have it there, I believe. And the, and, and the Lord, the Lord loves music. You know, it amazes me how you can uh, have a prayerful heart and sing songs about him. Yeah. And I know that the, the, the singing and the music is preparing the soul yeah. for the word of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. And, and yep. uh, you know, there, where was it, uh, where they went in, in the Old Testament, where they went into the temple and the sons of Levi was with the instruments mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they began to sing and, and the, the glory of God, this kind of cloud filled it up that the prophet couldn't even see to minister. Yeah. Yeah. God, God loves music. Yeah. yeah. He likes me. Now, There's not, that, not every kind of music. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah. He, but he created, he created it. Oh he, yeah. He created music. Yes, he did. And, um, we're going to, we're going to sing and pick up there. It's going to happen. Oh yeah. It's going to happen. Oh yeah. Well, let's yeah. pick one more. You got another one or do uh, well, you we'll, at the bottom of the barrel? We'll do I one. I hope not. We'll do. You got another one? Do one more. Let's, okay. Then I want you to get your Bible and just, I don't care where you go or what you do, just whatever you want to do. Just stay in the E chord there. Okay. Here's a good one oh, on page boy. 107. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. no mm -hmm. matter what, you, what you're going through. And I've had, you know, I sent you that picture yesterday down by the creek in behind yeah. my house. Yeah. That's a special place I go always uh, talk to the Lord. I've even got me a chair sitting down there now. And sometimes I'll sit down in the chair and just talk to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to him. Sure. I just talk to him. Sure. Somebody going by, they'd, they'd probably say, well, old Vic lost his mind. Ain't nobody there and he's talking. That's right. Yeah. I, I, I was. <laughs> There's somebody there though. <laughs> I was down there 
by the tree uh, been about three weeks ago. Maybe not that long. And I knelt down and I began to pour my heart out to God mm -hmm. on people that are sick. And uh, there was a racket. I was, I was praying and there was a, a noise on my left side. And the Holy Ghost said, keep praying. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody trying to interfere and we know who that was. Sure. And I'm telling you, Les, the, my whole left side, my face, my arms, my legs just broke out in little bump, chill bumps. Not my right side, but my left side. God spoke my heart and I was praying. He said, you're protected. Le things like that that God does. And yeah. he, do he, he doesn't have to do that for me. Sure. No, no, no. But he, and I know it's, it's, it's by faith we serve him. Faith is what pleases God. It's our faith in him. Yeah, yeah. That's what pleases him. But even little extra things that he does for us, it, just like I was telling you about yeah. the, him letting the eagles fly by me every time I go fishing. I mean, yeah. God, I believe he speaks to the bird and says, go fly by my son there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it strengthens me. It just, <laughs> it just makes yeah. me feel good. Hallelujah. Sure. He, he just, cares. Just, he cares about the little details. Oh, it doesn't have to be the big thing. Oh, no. I was cured of cancer. Oh, I'm, I, I was supposed to die with COVID, and here I am. That's a big thing. And he does big things. It don't have to be a big thing. It can be a little thing. Them little, little is much when God's God, in it. Yeah, boy. It yep, sure yep, is. Yep, yep. But Same thing. I'm, this old song here on page 107, everybody's heard this. One. I must tell Jesus a lot of times. I, have to, I just have to tell him. He already knows, but he wants us to tell him. That's right. I must tell Jesus all of my trials. I cannot bear the burdens alone. In my distress, he kindly will help me, ever loves and cares for his own. Oh, I must tell Jesus all of my trouble he is a kind compassionate friend yes, he is. oh if I but ask him he will deliver make up my trouble yes, he oh Quickly and then. Oh, I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus. I cannot bear my burdens alone. I must tell Jesus. I must tell Jesus, Jesus can help me, oh Jesus alone. Oh, tempted and tried, I need a great Savior, one who can help Oh, I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, He all my cares and oh, sorrow will share. Yes, he will. 
Oh, how the world to evil allured me. Oh, how my heart is oh, tempted to sin. Yes, I must tell Jesus and he will help me. Yes, he will. Over the world for the victory to win. Same way. Oh, I must tell Jesus I must tell He's our only help. Well, most of these, honestly, I think uh, all of them, but maybe one of these songs that you've done tonight, you did while I was in the hospital. All, all of them, I think, but one. And you did that, boy, I remember. My word. Boy, I had it up on my iPad. You were singing, I must tell Jesus, man, that's all I could do. Yeah. I couldn't get up and do anything for myself. All I could do was lay in that bed and tell Jesus. I couldn't even do that worth two cents. I didn't have enough lungs and oxygen to do it. But I would whisper to the best of my ability yeah. and what strength that I had, lift my hands up to the Lord and say, Lord, yeah. I'm going to tell you and I'm going to trust you. And I trust you're going to either bring me out of this here. The doctors would say, you may not make it home. I'd always got to tell them, oh, doc, I'm going home. Yeah. I'm going either to 313 Acorn Court or I'm going to go to my heavenly home. But, doc, I'm going home. Oh, yeah. 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 And so I got to correct them and I got to, got to share with them. But all I could do was tell Jesus. I couldn't do anything for myself. I didn't have enough money to go buy lungs and buy oxygen. I couldn't do anything but tell Jesus. Oh, yes. You know what, though? That was a pretty good deal on my end because I told him he heard me, and here I am. Oh, yeah. What a good deal. Ain't that yeah. something? Yes, it is, bro. Praise his holy name. Oh, he's good and to whatever us. It, whatever you're going through tonight, tell him. He loves you. Yes, he, he does. He cares for you. You say, I don't even I don't know this Jesus that you're talking about. He especially loves you. He especially cares for you yes, so did. much. He laid his life down for you. He died Amen. for you, sinner man, sinner woman, sinner boy, sinner girl, for you. Yes, he did. Tell him all your problems, all, all your ills, all the, whatever's wrong with you, because he loves and he cares for you. But sinner man, sinner woman, the thing that you need to tell him first and foremost is that you recognize that you're a sinner, yeah? that you've sinned and you've come short of the glory of God, just like I did. I was a preacher's kid. I was, I had a bad drug problem, drug to church every Sunday morning, drug to church every Sunday night, drug to church every Wednesday night, drug yeah. to church every camp meeting, drug to church every revival, every singing, all the time. I pretty much lived in church. And you know what? I was going to go to hell. You say, my goodness go to church all the time like mm -hmm. that. You're going to go to hell. That's what I said, because I hadn't accepted him. My mom and dad did. Grandparents did. I had all kinds of family that was saved. They accepted the Lord, but you can't go in on the skirt tails of your, of your praying mother. You can't go in on the shirt tails of a preaching mountain, preaching daddy. You got to go in believing for yourself, knowing that yeah. you are a sinner Yes, and that he is the Savior. Amen. And you've got to do it for yourself. Yep. you got to tell Jesus. Oh, yeah. Amen and amen and amen. Brother, you got you brought your Bible because I saw it here. 
Yeah. Crack it open. I don't care where you go in that book. Well, it's all good. So it doesn't matter where you go. Get your Bibles out. Get yeah, your get they, your Bibles out. Where do you got? They, they, they's a couple, few little scriptures here. I just like to read. Uh, go ahead. Uh, the first one being in in uh, Philippians chapter two, uh, and it kind of touches on something. What we were just talking. You might have quoted this a while ago. With every tongue confess. Yeah, that's some that 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 the Lord <laughs> do it. Hit it. He says in, in, in Philippians chapter two, ver, starting with verse five, he says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Here we go. But made himself of no reputation and mm. took upon him the form of a servant. My, my and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself. Thank you, Lord. And became obedient unto death. My, my. Even the death of the cross. Oh, boy. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name. Hallelujah. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Yeah. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God, the father. Yes. And I say, a man yeah. to yeah. that. And I want to, I want to jump over here to first Peter. I'm going to hit one more time. Every knee and every tongue, everyone, that means your knee is going to bow before the Lord. That means your tongue is going to confess him. The question is, are you going to do it here on this side of eternity? Or are you going to wait till it's too late? That's right. Listen, what you got? Cause he, he, he covers that in verse 10 things in heaven. Yeah. Things that's on nice. earth and things under the earth. And we know what's under the earth. Yeah. That's hell. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to confess him. Okay. And, and, uh, these are just some, Scripture, yeah, I ask the Lord, Lord, if I read, you you point the ones you want me to read. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, you're doing good. Right here, First Peter chapter one. Uh, it's some and it's some of my some of my favorite. I'm telling you, I've had to go to this many a times for comfort. Yeah. For you know, a lot of times, a lot of times the Lord will reassure us, reassure us. Even though when we we get kind of down and out sometimes, he still reassures us, reassures us, and how re strong and real it is. First uh, Peter chapter one, beginning verse three. Blessed be the, the the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead mm -hmm. to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away Hallelujah. and it's reserved in heaven for you who are kept <laughs> by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time, verse six, where, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. And the devil's going to tempt us as long as we're in this flesh. Oh, yeah. He's going to punch at us. Yes, sir. That the trial of your faith. Go on now. Being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire might be found into praise and honor and glory at the appearing yes. of Jesus Christ. Now listen to this verse here. Now this just really stirs my soul. <laughs> Whom having not seen. Yes. We done touched on that. Yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. You love. Never seen him, but I fell in love with my Savior. I've never seen him. Amen. But boy, I tell you, I see him by the eye of faith in this precious book right That's here. That's right. That's right. Amen. In whom... Though now you see him not, 
Yet believing. Believing mm -hmm. how? Believing by faith. That's right. You rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. <laughs> it don't get no better than that right there. <laughs> well, it doesn't. And sometimes I can't even, it, it's so good. I'll reread this and reread it and reread it. And it gets the feeling so good, I can't even explain it. I just, <laughs> I just sit back and feel the feel good. Yeah, you know? yes, sir. And I know we don't go on feelings. We go on faith. That's right. But those blessings, those blessed feelings that God gives you, it's just a little extra I'm stuff. I'm telling you, <laughs> that faith will lead to feeling. Oh, yeah. That faith will lead you to feeling it. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's the it, way it is. Go ahead, and, 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 and sometimes you know we 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 run run low. Uh, I'm not saying you 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 get lost, but sometimes we our vessel runs low. Oh, sometimes we don't feel it. That's right. We we run low. But, I'm just as saved then as I as I was when I as I am when I do feel it. But when he starts filling you back up, you know they. You can have different feelings. Yeah. Spiritual That's right. feelings. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I, I was in a revival over at Miller's Chapel in Middlesboro, Kentucky, about two years ago. I believe it was. Might have been a little over two years. Brother Travis Thompson is a pastor over there. And my pastor, Jimmy Branscombe, and, and one of my boys, Dwayne Graves, Kojak, they called him Preacher Kojak. He pastored his church over there. They were the evangelists and had a lot of youth coming to that. And they was, I don't, I don't remember how many got saved. It was a two-week revival. But God of heaven absolutely done a number on me. And I've not got over that meeting yet. It's good when you get to meet like that. Hey, I'm telling you, his, his presence his, his, the, the presence of God was so strong. It was sweet. Sure. It was sweet in there. And, and it was just, it's hard to explain. It's just joy unspeakable, <laughs> full of full glory. Of glory. And, and it's, you can't, it's unexplainable. And uh, there in chapter one also, when we, we come over to verse 13, he tells us, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He says in verse 16, he said, Because it is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Help us, Lord. Yes. And, and verse 17, And if you call on the Father who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, Passeth past the time of your sojourning here in fear. Yeah. Now that's not fear like a, the devils of scaring everybody this day and time. It's a reverence fear. Yes. Yeah. The fear, the fear of God. It's yeah. a, it's a holy fear. Yeah. For as much the Word of God says, as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold. Yeah from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers. Yeah. But here I'll we go. Here you are. But with the precious blood of Christ. Hallelujah. As of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Yes, Verse sir. 23, being born again. Hallelujah. Not of corruptible seed. That's right. But of incorruptible. Amen. By the word of God. That's right. By the word of God, which, which liveth. liveth and abideth forever. This book is, is alive. Yes. It's breathing right now. It's doing this right there. It's alive. Oh, yes, it is. It'll, it'll talk to you. Those are the scriptures. Let me, let yeah, me, good. Let, let me jump over in chapter two in first Peter. Okay. Uh, right quick. Verse nine and 10. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation a peculiar people yeah. that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness unto his marvelous light, which in times past were not a people, but are now 
the people of God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. What about it? Mercy. Ain't God good? Yes, sir. Oh, goodness. Grace. Grace is getting that which we don't deserve. Yeah. Getting that which we don't deserve. We're getting heaven as a child of God. Yeah. We don't deserve it, but we're getting that. Getting that which we don't deserve. Mercy, which you just read about. Yeah. Not getting that which we deserve. We deserve hell. Yeah. Yeah. But a child of God doesn't get that. That's right. We get grace and mercy. Grace. We get heaven though we don't deserve it. And we get to miss hell. We got to miss hell. Isn't that something? Oh yes. Hallelujah. I want to go back to one thing that you read here real quick in first Peter there, the chapter one, just the middle of verse eight right there. Well, I'll just read the whole verse. Whom having not seen, ye, ye love. We already, we already talked about that. And whom though now ye see him not. Now here's here's what I like right here. Yet believing. Yeah. Now I believe. I believe. I believe the gospel story. Oh, yeah. I believe that he left his throne in heaven. I believe he came to this world and lived a perfect, sinless life. I believe he laid his life down on the cross of Calvary. Yes. I believe he was buried. I believe 72 hours after he was buried, he got up. He defeated death, hell, and the grave. I believe he has ascended into heaven, and I believe that he is soon coming back to get his children. Amen. I believe the gospel Amen. story. And too. because I believe the gospel story, you get the rest of this verse. That's right. We can rejoice yes. with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Yeah. We've got death everywhere. We've got, we've got, we have missionaries and preachers over in Afghanistan that's getting their heads lopped off. Right. We've got, we've got COVID. We've got uh, hospitals are completely filled to the brim and overflowing. We've, we've got a mess on our hands, mm -hmm. but the child of God, yeah. because we believe the promises in this book, Amen. We, through all of this, yes. can have joy unspeakable, and full, full of glory. I wouldn't Amen. trade that for anything no. in the world. If why would I want to trade being able to have joy so much that you it's so you, it's unspeakable? We can't even tell it all to you. That's right. We try we try to give you words and it's and it falls short. It's that good. It's even better than what we can say. Oh yeah. Joy unspeakable and full yes, of glory sir. during these horrific times. Why would I want to trade that for the awfulness of everything that's going on in this world? That's right. Yet, Amen, yet, yet there are folks that, that will refuse whether whether it's pride that will allow them to bow a knee and confess that they've sinned, that they mess up, that they're not they're not perfect. Is it? Yeah. I don't know what it is, but they don't, and they walk away. And there's people that that'll be in church services, and I mean, God show up in a mighty way, and they walk out yeah. without accepting Him. Sad. When when all they do is they turn around and go back into this world of nothing but death and blackness and awfulness. When they could just bend a knee, bow their heart, confess with their mouth that yeah. Christ is Lord, and that they're a sinner. That's all they have to do. And they can turn, they can trade all of that black and that death and that awful and those uncertainties and those sleepless nights oh, yes. and can have joy unspeakable, yes. full of glory. And peace. Oh my. The peace, the, uh, what God has embedded in me, I understand it seems like more and more every day. He gives us peace that passeth all understanding. Yep. Can't even explain it. No. It's so deep and so vast. You can't even explain it. It's that good. No. Isn't that something? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Friends, if you lost today, my, my, trade in, trade in the blackness, the death, the awfulness, the uncertainties, the oh, sleepless yes. nights. Trade it in. Oh, yes. For everlasting joy that's unspeakable and full of glory. Go to bed tonight and have the best night's sleep that you've ever had in your life because you trust in him. And you know that if you if you weren't to wake up, it's not the end for you. No. You've got heaven awaiting you. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother, pray. Pray for the folks real quick. We'll uh, we'll wrap wrap this up for tonight, but it's been, been good. Go ahead, brother. Divine and gracious and precious Heavenly Father, once again, Lord, we approach you, the throne room, God, 
thanking you, Lord, for this opportunity. Yeah, Lord, Lord to uh, sing songs about you. Yes. Lift up your blessed name. God, read from your holy word. Praise your name, Lord. Lord, I pray that it will go out. and You tell us in your word, our Lord, that your word would go out and accomplish what it's to do, and it will not return void. Yeah. And Lord, we've shared these few scriptures. We just thank you, God, for the opportunity, Lord, to just sit around and brag on you a little bit. Yes, Lord. Because you've been so good to us, Praise God. Praise your name. I just want to brag on you, Lord, and tell the world I'm not ashamed of you. No, thank God, you. I love you. You know my heart. Lord, I pray for this ministry of Brother Les, Lord, that you'd continue to bless him, help him, God, keep him healthy until the trumpet sounds. And Lord, then we don't have to worry about nothing. <laughs> Really don't have to worry about nothing right now, God, because yeah. you got Hallelujah. her back. You got her back. Yeah. You got her front. You got her sides. Yeah. Lord, I just thank you for walking with us every day. Lord, bless the people. God, that's a watching this and is going to be a watching it. Yeah, I Lord, pray, please, Lord, God. take it and use use what we've done, yes. Lord, and, and and just bless your people. Do something. Strengthen good. them, God, most of all. Through our feeble. Lord, phase one that's watching. And listening, and they don't know you, and they've really never been born again. Their oh, life has Stir never their changed. Souls today, God, I pray, Lord, you'd save them. Stir their souls right before now, it's Lord. ever too late for them. Thank you, God, for this opportunity, Lord. I ask you to continue to watch over me and my wife while we're down here this way this weekend. Bless them, Lord God. God, give us a good time. In the house of God Sunday, where we're going to be, yes, God. over in Murfreesboro. Bless them, Lord. Lord, and I pray, use us, God, for your honor and your glory. Bless your holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we do humbly ask. Amen. 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 Brother Vic. Boy, it's been good. Thank you. Thank you for traveling so far to be with us. And let's see who else we've got on here. Let's just, we'll spend a, a few minutes here talking to the folks. I tell you, we'll do one more song. Be figuring out something you want to do. Or maybe somebody requests something. Between the two of us, we'll, we'll, we may know it. We'll try it. Anybody got any Redback Hymn requests? Let's see what else we've got here. Jimmy Hayes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What a blessing tonight. Amen. Mike Smith. Hello, Brother Les. Real Southern gospel music. That's right, Mike Smith. Heather, safe traveling home, Vic, and bless God, uh, bless bless you, um, both in a mighty way. Patty Graham, preach it, brother. Nathan, good preaching. Heather, preach it, Pastor Les. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, Mervyn Hannah, Elizabeth Lawson, thank you, Elizabeth. Amen. God bless you all. Good night, Maven. All right. And uh, Dale says, you are uh, welcome, uh, my precious friend, and, and uh, may God heal her quickly. God bless you all. Dale saying, good night to to old uh, Mervin. I don't know who Mervin is, but they're talking to Mervin a lot here. Dale Gimmer, I'm praying for your sister Mary. Yes, we're going to pray for her. God bless her. Touch her, Lord, I pray. Who else is on here with us? All right. Mike Whitman. Can't wait to be a Zitharist. <laughs> My friend in Central Florida wants to be first chair Z Zitharist. <laughs> oh, Z yeah, Z Zitharist. Yeah. He wants to be first chair Zitharist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother Mike. Yes, sir. I believe you can be the first chair Zitharist. I believe you can do it. Hello from Overland Park, Kansas. Hello, brother Gary. Good to see you. Amen. Who else we have? Donnie Williamson watching from Floyd, Iowa. What about that? Iowa. Is that still in America, Brother Donnie? Is it, have they succeeded yet, or are they still in America? <laughs> oh, yes. What else we got here? Amen. Praise Jesus. Luther Queen. Hello, Luther. Amen. Good to see you, Luther. I got some stuff I got to be sending to you, emailing you, so give me give me a, another day or two. Hello, Sydney Weaver. God bless you, Brother Sydney. Man, Sydney Weaver is a preaching hoss. You ever heard him preach? I don't believe I have. Oh, man. Uh, Tony Bates, hey, how you doing, brother? Good to see you, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right. I think we've seen everybody. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see what they've requested. Has anybody requested anything? Patty Graham said page 348. What's 348? See what 348 is. Okay. Let me look it up here. Page 348. Let's see what that is. That comes right after 347. Yeah. Just a shade before 349. (laughs) Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm glad I learned my Gozendas. Child of the King, 340. I don't know that one there. I don't know that. What's on the bottom of it? What's it? I'll be so happy. We don't know that one. Give us another one, y'all. Page 348. What, what about 349's getting on 349? What I, is it? I've been waiting. Oh, do it. Oh, that's another one you did while I was in the hospital. That's a good nurse. Man, that was blessing me too. I'm gonna yeah, let's do that. 349, y'all. Grab your red back hymn book, join us. And uh, sing some parts. I've been having to sing some of this high tenor stuff, and I'm not a tenor, and I'm up there caterwauling. I'm sounding awful. Somebody else sing the tenor, and I'll get slide down to my spot in the bare tone, all right? And uh, <laughs> and it'll sound better. Let's see, what, what gear are you going to be? Well, we'll get this in the elf. Close enough. I'm a, I'm a E, F, and B flat. That's about where I say oh my. That is me. Every yeah. once in a blue moon, I'll get a C or a D thrown in there yeah. somehow. But that's me. Oh, I've been away. Hey, hey, read the thing that just below, because I, I know this. Written by the oldest. Let's see. The oldest old woman on earth. <laughs> I love that. The oldest like, old woman on yeah, earth. <laughs> it's a, I've been waiting. It says, uh, last words of Granny Solomon. Granny Solomon, yeah. Oldest old woman on <laughs> earth who died in Dallas January the 11th, 1940. <laughs> I like the oldest old woman. Yeah. Not the oldest young woman. No. <laughs> the oldest or, old woman. Or not the oldest middle-aged woman. <laughs> the oldest old woman. <laughs> Sing it, brother. She's been waiting. We all await. We are. Many years I traveled on this weary road. Yeah, Watch fleeting changes, try to share some load. Now my work is finished, steps are mighty slow. I've been waiting, Lord, to go. I've been waiting, waiting on the shore. Long I traveled, ain't gonna travel no more. Poor shades of evening falling, steps are getting slow. I've been waiting, Lord, to go. Oh, feel a little weary, inside of getting down to me. But I have my Savior, I can trust Him. Oh, many friends are yonder by the river's pole. I've been waiting, Lord, to go. I've been waiting, waiting on this shore. Long I travel, ain't gonna travel no more. Shades of evening falling, steps are getting slow. I've been waiting for to go. Come a little closer, Snow White Angel Band. While across the river to that bitter land. Open wide the portals, play a little slow. I've been waiting for to go. I've been waiting, waiting on the shore. Long I travel, ain't gonna travel no more. Take the Falling steps get slow. I've been waiting, Lord, to go. I've been waiting, waiting on the shore. Long I travel, ain't gonna travel no more. Shades of evening falling steps get it slow. I've been waiting, Lord, to Amen. Oh, that's a good one right there. I got there. There's the. 
that last line, you do that little pause. I finally <laughs> hit it at the end. <laughs> Ain't no telling what I do. I get Sometimes I just I have to quit singing and just take a little run and jumping spell. Yeah. And come back and finish <laughs> that's, it up. That's good. You know, I'm gonna when we go off the when we go off here in just a minute, I'm gonna go to my um my my little day timer book and I'm gonna show you something. I wrote down songs as you were doing them when I was in the hospital. Oh, was that right? Yeah. That I wanted to well, I'm just gonna do it right here in front of <clears throat> in front of God and everybody. I want to <laughs> get up. I, I want, I want you and I to record a CD together, and I'll take care of all of it. You ain't gonna cost nothing to you. I want to take care of the whole thing of those songs that you sang that blessed me while I was in the hospital. I want to do them, me and you, just like how we did it right there. We'll rehearse and get them down better and all that kind of stuff. But just like how we did it right here. Oh yeah. Would you Would you consider doing that? Oh yeah. It ain't gonna cost yeah. you nothing. I'm gonna take care of all of it. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. All right. There you are. You heard it, folks. Now you can't back out because everybody's seeing it now. But I wrote down songs that uh, when I was in the hospital and I would watch his uh, his Facebook Live. I, and I mean, just, just blessed me. My goodness. Again, I'd give anything if I had a video of it. I had the best church, ser church services I've ever been in my life um, in the hospital rooms over that, uh, over that three-week period. And then I, when I when I came home and couldn't couldn't move out of the bed for months, I had me some more there in my bedroom, just in the bed. But in the ICU, man, it was uh, wow, boy, it was powerful. I would uh, I'd, I'd start worshiping and just crying and praising the Lord and shouting and just having a time. And doctors and nurses would stick their head in sometime and say, what in the world is going on in here? I said, we just have a church. Come on in and join us. And uh, and they would turn around. They never would join us, but they missed out. <laughs> they missed out. But uh, your music, I'm telling you, Vic, it helped me get out of that hospital. I want you to know the Lord used it and helped me to get out. Yeah, that's a, uh, he, you know, I'm, I'm just a vessel Uh God gets all the glory. I, I'm Understand. very, I, I want it all to go to him because I told the Lord, I said, Lord, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. You know, what, yeah. whatever it is. And, uh, cause I'm, uh, and I appreciate the kind words, but it's because, it's because yeah. of Jesus. Yes, sir. It's I because know. of Jesus. Yeah. But he uses us. He uses us. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and he used you, and I'm thankful. Well, folks, um, y'all need to uh, share this now. Share it so other people can just uh, join in, and they can grab their instruments at home and play along with us. Grab that old great Redback Hymn book and, and uh, sing along with us. And, uh, and if there's anybody that you know that's lost, you need to get this to them just so they can hear God's word that we read and, and the testimonies and the songs and let it penetrate their heart while there's time. Yes. There's not much time left, folks. While there's time, we better get a burden for the lost. Amen. And get the message of the gospel to them right now, tonight. So do that, would you? It's been wonderful to uh, be here with you on this Friday night. I hope it's been a blessing to you. Uh, don't forget, if you would, subscribe to the Real Southern Gospel channel there on YouTube and like the, the Live with Les Butler Facebook page and uh, let people know that we do this um, once or twice a week, uh, every week. And we do different things and I have different guests and we just, you know, I play old vinyl. I got some old vinyl here that I thought maybe we'd play some tonight, but we did just exactly the way it should have happened tonight. And, um, and so, uh, no telling what it'll, what it'll be, but we want to be a blessing too when, when we, when we come on. So, all right. Well, God bless you. Now, next Friday at this very same time, I'm going to be with Eddie Crook. Eddie Crook's going to be there in that chair and we're going to have fun, uh, doing uh, trivia, gospel music mm -hmm. trivia. And uh, he'll ask questions and uh, I'll probably embarrass myself by not knowing the answers, but I'll try mm -hmm. and we'll have some other folks on here with us and, uh, and we'll just have a good time. And he's going to bring some vinyl. We're going to play some old vinyl that uh, Eddie Crook's going to be bringing that'll tie into the uh, to the to the questions that he asks. And we're going to have a ball. And I want you to be a part of it. Would you do that? Mark it down. A week from tonight, seven central, eight eastern. 
uh, trivia with uh, Eddie Crook. All right. God bless you all. Lord willing, we'll see you. Uh, we'll see you later. Okay. Uh, either uh, either here or over there. That's over yonder. Amen. God bless you all.